Hi! Oh my god, I've missed you! What are you doing? Get out of my How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Hi guys! <coughs> it's Kind of Potato here, and basically today I'm gonna do a mukbang in my bed because I'm sick. My mum always said to me, whenever you're sick, just, you know, stay in bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. I decided to order some lunch because I need to have uh, food with my antibiotics. And I thought this would be a great time to sit down, have a chat with you guys, and do a little bit of a mukbang because I haven't done one of those in about three years. So, what am I eating today? I actually Uber Eated this from my mum's account because, you know, as you know, I've been banned from Uber Eat. Scrambled eggs. I don't even know what this, this is, but it's so yum. I love that brain freeze. <coughs> Ask you guys to send me like, like not like, you know, common questions, common. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to film unpopular opinions. I've only just thought of the word now. Um, so yeah, I'm doing unpopular opinions. So I'm just going to be rambling on about what I'm trying to do. Um, but really it's unpopular opinions. I don't even know how to like word this. It's kind of like not assumptions, but like things that people would agree that wouldn't agree with. Some people are quite two on the fence sort of thing about it. I am so foggy in the head. I actually don't even know what I'm talking about. So let's see what we've got here. Trump is a lunatic. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Cheaters are automatically dead to me. Oh yeah, especially when you've been um, sexting your ex-girlfriend for the past eight months when we've been in a relationship. Mayonnaise is the best sauce. No, the best mayonnaise is that baby mayo from Japan, the Japanese, the Japanese mayo, that is the best mayo ever. Falsely accusing me of rape should be an offence. What? Watermelon is gross. I disagree, watermelon's yum ass. Gay rights, hell yeah. Be with whoever the bloody hell you want. Experiment, have fun. You're in this body once, you know? <clears throat> Just, you gotta... <coughs> <coughs> You just gotta do you and whatever makes you happy. Just and even if your parents and family are like, no, can't do that, nah, nah, nah. Just say, well, get wrecked. It'd be a completely different story if they were in your position and then, you know, they wanted to be with someone of the same sex or whatever. And you know, don't worry about it. Just do what, just do whatever you want to do. Um, that's what I did, and everything turned out fine. Olives are so good. Some olives. Cheesecake is the best food to grace the planet. Okay, we're going a little bit too far now. Dogs are the best. Couldn't agree more. The world is complicated AF. Yeah, it is. I reckon it actually quite is, to be honest. Um, I actually don't even really know what the heck I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Um, I was like, honestly, I was probably about 14. My dad said to me, did you know that the tide and the moon are like all connected. I was like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. No, they, they're connected, bro. Thoughts on Billie Eilish. She's pretty cool. I actually quite like her. I like I like her style. What do you think about abortion? I reckon it's your body. You can do whatever the heck you like with it, to be honest. If you don't want to be pregnant, then just get rid of it. Sorry, it's easy as that. If I was put in a situation where I got pregnant and I couldn't, and financially I couldn't support the baby or it would actually, you know, affect my health, um, like my kidneys and stuff, or like my mental health or stuff like that, then I would honestly probably do one. I, like, it's my body, I can do whatever I want. Who's going to tell me, no, you can't do that? Are you serious? Get rich. You, I, I can do whatever the hell I want. Nah, I reckon everyone should be allowed to have abortions. Um, it's none of anyone's business but that person's, you know, so it's, you, we can't really have much of a say, but I think it's ridiculous with the laws in America and stuff like that, being like, no, no, Jesus wouldn't want that. Well, he's not here right now, is he? He, he's not here to go, yeah, actually, I don't want you to do that, you know, he's, he's long gone, bro, because at the end of the day, I don't care what you do with your body, because it's up to you. It's up to you, man. And if I was ever in that situation, you guys shouldn't care, you know? It's all up to me. Why is everyone so nosy these days, you know? Sorry if I'm offending people here. I offended a lot of people at my extremely Catholic high school about this. But, um, yeah, I reckon you should just do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. People who are watching this video, I don't know if you are pregnant and you're thinking about, you know, aborting, don't feel bad about it. Do what you gotta do, you know? I know many women in my life who have had abortions. It's all turned out alright. Also, the little fetus 
the cluster of cells aren't going to remember if they were aborted or not. Can you remember the last time that you were in your mum's stomach? just floating around doing shit, do you remember? You would never have known, okay? They're not gonna know that they're being taken out, you know? That doesn't matter. They don't know anything. They don't know anything. Sorry, I'm burping and like vomiting at the same time. They don't know anything. They don't know what's happening. Lots of people are probably gonna unsubscribe to this. I don't care, it's just, it's the truth. Just do, it, just, just do what works for you. I don't even know what this is. I think this is a chorizo. Do you watch Stranger Things? Yes, I do. I bloody love Stranger Things. I enjoyed the third series. I thought it was very good, very gripping. Opinion on pineapple lumps. Um, they are quite nice, actually, to be honest. They are actually a little bit quite delicious. Um, especially when they've been put in the freezer. Oh, shit. That is so bloody good. Oh, shit. For a mukbang, was I meant to have loads of food with me? I don't know. Vaccinating kids. Someone would have just put this off just to piss me off. We all know what I think about vaccinating kids. Um, my dad died because someone didn't vaccinate their ugly little shithead um, at the library and he got really sick and died. So I recommend vaccinating all your kids. Everyone that says that it, it, you're getting autism from it, it means that you read articles from Facebook and you don't know anything. Just immunize your bloody kids. That's all I've got to say about that. Pineapple on pizza. Yes! Moon landing was fake. I agree. Because I, I look back on the footage and like, Flag is doing this. But there's no air in space, is there? No, there's not. So I don't know how it was floating like that, going like that. I don't know if you remember that. Barbecue sauce on a pepperoni pizza. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up and get my dog to lick it up. That's no. Barbecue sauce is a no-go. That is never, no, hate, no, 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 no. Barbecue sauce makes me vomit. Vegemite in its entirety. Eh, no. Crispy fries. Like the little tiny ones left at the bottom of the takeout bag. Or soft fries. I like the soft squishy chips, those are so much nicer. Swallowing gum, yes or no? I've always been taught to not swallow it and I've always been really scared to swallow my gum. I have swallowed gum before, I didn't want to but I just had to and I do regret it. It's kind of, you've just basically swallowed rubber, you know what I mean? Hmm, would you consider bringing back the sim videos? I am and I'm working on it, it's just that I need to work out what the hell I'm doing. I need like a mic. I need also <coughs> far out. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I've just inhaled my egg. Holy shit. Yeah, I need to get onto it. I need to get onto it. I need to know what I'm doing. Like I don't know what where I would start with the Sims, you know? So people give me ideas, but it, I am because I was gonna do it on Twitch. I still have not forgotten about that. It's just me sitting down and actually doing it is the problem, okay? Just catch up. Belong on chicken, yes or no? No. Gluten free. Um, tomato or tomato? Tomato, where I'm from anyway. <coughs> Vegans slash vegetarians. Don't mind ya, it's fine. You can eat whatever you want. I just won't be joining you. Um, it's just too hard for me to do. I just like burgers too much, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I get it, I get why you're doing it. Like save the planet, shit like that. And it's extremely healthy. It looks very healthy, so I'm just like, yeah, well, do what you want. Do what you're gonna do. Do whatever helps you sleep at night. Just do whatever you want, you know? I, I just know that I would be really upset if I just had to eat nuts all day um, and like avocados all day, so I, that's why I don't do it. So, um, but you can do it, I don't care. It's your life, not mine, so. Medical marijuana. Yeah, I agree on it. I reckon it's um, amazing for people with seizures. I was watching lots of documentaries about these kids who have terrible <clears throat> seizures and they started having medical marijuana and that has helped so much. So I reckon it should be readily available to be honest. But yeah, I'd, I'd go for it. Do whatever. Like whatever helps you, you know? Like life's too short. Whatever helps you out, whatever makes you happy, just do it. But global warming is a real thing slash problem. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I reckon there's probably a little bit of an issue here and there that needs to be fixed. We're ruining it. We're not really doing much about it. So, um, when I'm a, a nana, my grandkids are literally going to be on fire, you know? That music is life. I think music helps a lot of people. What would we be without music? Everyone's saying pineapple and pizza. Come on, guys. Teen pregnancy. Okay, most of the time, it is usually accidentally get pregnant, but 
If you know that you can do it and you've got the means to do it and you've got the right attitude about it, then why not? There's lots and lots and lots of incredible kids have been raised by teenagers that have turned out to be quite incredible. So, you know, if that happens, like, go, like, I don't judge her. Like, well, cool. Well done, you know? Um, obviously, I don't condone it. I'm not saying, all right, as soon as you're 14, go and get pregnant and stuff. Probably not the best thing to do, but, you know, if you get in that situation and you end up being pregnant and you don't want to abort it and you want to, you know, raise this kid, just know that there's like a little bit more to it. You know, you're going to be looking after yourself and looking out, looking after another little bubby and stuff like that. You just got to look up. Just main thing is just keep yourself well, look after yourself, keep your mental health in check and you can do, bloody do anything. I'm not making any sense, but spaghetti on pizza. Okay, I'm gonna block this person right now. KFC is better than Macca's. Eh, I agree. Michael Jackson is a pedo. Yes, I fully, honestly, I have always, I was brought up being a young kid by my parents telling me that he was a pedo. So I've always known that. I, I've just always been, I've just always listened to my mum and dad. They were like, yeah, he's a pedo. So I've just always just believed that. And then I like did some research on it and it's like, yeah, I, I believe it myself. So, um. I totally think he is. Lots of people don't, which is messed up, but um, yeah, I'm pretty content with what I found and um, can safely say that he is a bit of a pedo. <clears throat> I, would, I definitely would never ever want any of my kids anywhere near him. I just think he's an extremely strange guy who had a lot of issues and I think he had a, I think he just had a few problems. Um, and yeah, one of those problems was that he liked little boys. So, but the whole, um, kids sleeping over, sleeping in his bed, and like stuff like that, I don't know, that's just absolutely insane. I don't agree with that. I don't think I could imagine having a sleepover with Michael Jackson. He wouldn't even be into me, I actually could be safe, because he, um, I'm not a boy, so um, I probably wouldn't have even been invited to his little sleepover party, because I'm not a guy. Um, I do not have a wussy. I wouldn't have even been invited, so there's gonna be so much dramas in the, in the comments, but <laughs> Is fake tan considered racist? <laughs> um, it kind of is, isn't it? It's a little bit blackface, eh? I can see what people mean. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. Like, people with like darker complexions who go really, really pale, I don't look at them and go, you're being racist. I don't know what I, I actually don't know what I think about that, to be honest. I fake tan when my skin's okay. So hopefully you guys don't think I'm being racist. I don't really think it's a racial thing, but um, if people do think that, then um, wow, sorry. I love this drink. I don't know what's in it. It's just called Cheryl's Iced Tea. I don't know who you are, Cheryl, and what you're doing in this bottle, but far out. <coughs> Ugh. Sweet and savory go together. I think they do, especially like pancakes like bacon and stuff that's so yum hey there cajo potato how are you doing health wise this is not um what i asked but thank you linda i'm i'm sick bro um i keep apples oh, sorry i keep apples in the fridge i think i do that too like it's i feel like i feel like it's more crispier or something i keep my bread in the fridge takes much longer to go bad when kept cold uh no i definitely keep my bread in the pantry sorry i love celery with peanut butter on it oh i keep Ketchup in the fridge. Yeah, I do that. I always keep all my sauces in the fridge. I don't put sugar on any kind of cereal, not even my wheat picks. That's nasty. Mint chocolate and orange chocolate are so good. Ah, no. Half correct. Orange chocolate's revolting, but mint chocolate, I do actually quite like that. Snow cones are better than ice cream. I, I haven't had enough. I haven't had enough snow cones to say that that it's better than ice cream to be honest, but okay, you go girl. Um, are McDonald's french fries better or Burger King's? I quite like Burger King's chips a little bit better. I eat every meal except for dinner in my bed and I don't give an F. Okay, cheese and ketchup sandwiches are good. No. Drinks such as Pepsi <laughs> taste better in a can than it does in a bottle. Can't relate, I don't drink Pepsi. Butter in the cupboard, not the fridge. Yeah, we keep. I keep my butter in the cupboard because if you keep it in the fridge, it goes all hard and then you can't spread anything. Eating McDonald's fries dipped in a sundae. Am I the only one? Yeah, you are the only one. Pineapples are better than watermelon. 
You guys are so racist against watermelon. I, I like I like the both of them. Coriander ruins every food it comes in contact to. The taste, the smell, bloody can't stand it. I actually don't mind it. I actually think it's quite nice. It's quite refreshing. It's really nice and like um, Asian cuisine stuff. You know what I mean? That's actually quite good. Chocolate in the fridge or covered. I keep my chocolate in the fridge because I like it cold. Parents letting their kids see them naked, agree or disagree? I agree only because I was brought up that way. My mum and dad taught us that, you know, don't be scared of nudity and stuff like that. Like, this is what our bodies look like, who cares? Yeah, I um, I would have baths with my mum up until I was like 10 and stuff. And if like my dad was having a shower and I needed to go in the bathroom to go and get something, like the door is always open, I can go in, you know what I mean? It's not like that we we would walk around naked, but like, you know, if we if I walked in, into my mum and dad's room and they were both getting dressed, it's not, it, it wouldn't be like shock horror, oh my god, this is... I can't see this, oh my god, I'm embarrassed. I know someone who's like, oh my god, I've never seen my mum naked. It's like, wow, that's, that's so weird. Like, I, I honestly cannot relate. Some chicks need to save some baby daddies for the others. Already got four and she's on her fifth. Nah, JK. Which way does the toilet paper go, over or under? Definitely 100% not under. Like it needs to, the toilet paper needs to like face you, not t not touching the wall. Oh, I hate that. Should a quiche be eaten hot or cold? You can have it both ways, can't you? I prefer it hot, but if I had one cold, I wouldn't be angry, you know? It's Australia, not Australia. Yeah, I just say Australia. Is breast milk okay for vegans to drink? Yeah, well, because it's not an animal product. It's coming from you. Kids shouldn't have sex education at five years old. I think you should be told, like, at a pretty reasonable age. Like, I think the best... Like, if it was me, if I had kids, I probably would tell them at around about, like, eight or nine. So that they are so good at the subject. They know what to do, how to be protected, how to do this. I was told at around about eight, nine, sex education, so great. You should just, um, you know, yeah, educate yourself, guys. It's so weird. There were some people in my school who have no idea about sex education, and that freaked me out. It shouldn't be like that. People should know at a really early age. Sugar and spaghetti. Jesus Christ. It's French toast, not eggy bread. <laughs> Cats are better than dogs. Wow. Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. Honestly, that is just, that breaks my heart. Syrup in the fridge? Yeah. A dog's death is more sadder in movies than human deaths. I completely agree. Seth Rogen is a shit actor and isn't funny in the slightest. Completely agree. Vegemite on pancakes. Oh my god, no! Cheese is actually gross. Sorry, not sorry. You should be sorry. Also, why are people so welcoming to aliens but still racist towards other humans? <sighs> Look, um, Ellen, I really don't know. I don't know what the story is. I don't even understand the Area 51 thing. I don't know what's going on there. All these memes about it, and I'm just like, I don't know what this means. What do you mean, aliens? Someone also wrote, do you think that aliens exist? I really do not think, out of this entire galaxy, that we are the only things alive. You know what I mean? These. There's got to be more to it. It absolutely has to be more to it. It just so happens that we are alive, you know? Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I totally think there's more out there. Opinions on Jocelyn Hill fiasco. Oh, Jacqueline Hill. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bloody shame about those lipsticks, eh? That was really a bit of a shit show, and I'm so glad I didn't buy anything. Um, I don't know actually what's happening now. I'm not really following the tea. I don't drink tea, I only like cold drinks. But that whole rigmarole was, a, wow, it was really shit, man. I feel really sorry for her. Um, she really did mess up. Trial and error. What a shame. Do you plan on ever leaving New Zealand? At this point in my life, no. I would love to move to Melbourne at one point in my life for, you know, like a year or something. But um, at this point in time, I'm very happy where I am here. Talk about childhood movies or shows that used to scare you. Do you have any memories of some show that really scared you as a kid? I have got a few. A movie that made me shit myself. And I still find it really hard to watch is E.T. Oh my god, I'm so scared of that little mofo. You have no idea. I He just kind of just freaks me out a little bit. Just the whole neck thing and the whole like... Oh, I don't, I'm not sure about that. I really am not 100%. And like when he... Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen E.T., when he's in the creek and he's dying, you know, like he's all white and 
He's like, Egh. oh my god, I can't deal with that. That's so sad. That is just so awful. And another episode, another thing that really, really rocked me up, really upset me, was this guy from Pingu. I don't know if you remember. I He came on and I swear to god, I have never screamed so loud in my life at four years old when I saw this. I was so scared. And I would have the Pingu, I would have Pingu on videotape and I'd know when he would be coming up and I would warn everyone. I'd go, Nana, he's coming. And she'd go, okay, do you want me to fast forward it? I'm like, yes, yes. So like when she would fast forward it, I would have to like not look because I could not be able to look at him. He was just the most scariest ass, looking ass, gross ass thing. And there's people nowadays that look like him and I'm just like, Oh my god, it's, it really triggers me sometimes, actually, to be honest. Do post that shit all over people for stu stupid stuff like enjoying Starbucks or something even mild mildly popular annoy you as well. I don't know what you mean by that. I'm too sick. I'm like, I, honestly, it feels like I've got like a fog cloud in my head. Um, that probably makes a lot of sense, but to me right now, it doesn't make any sense to me. Lady Gaga's makeup line. Uh, I saw a little bit of it. It looks quite fancy, doesn't it? It looks actually quite cool. I, it, it will be expensive though, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to afford it or not. Okay, you guys sucked on Twitter. You can't. You guys didn't really do any like argumentative like questions that could have like left people up in arms. All right, I'm going to leave it on this last question. Talk about when if you're coming to the US for a meetup. Um, so. I would love to go to the US for a meetup. It's just flights and accommodation that sets me back. I would have loved to. I would have loved to go on this year, but um, it doesn't look like I am going or not. At least I go in like October or something. But right now, nothing's planned. Nothing's in concrete or anything. Um, I know that in September. Don't think it's even been announced yet. Probably going to get in huge trouble. Um, I'm going to Melbourne for VidCon. So um, that is going to be really exciting and really fun. This is my second time going. So if you are from Australia, um, from Melbourne, and you are, are wanting to go to VidCon and see me, um, I recommend that you do because I would love to see you. Um, basically, I finished my lunch. Look at me go. I, I went. I went for it. I absolutely. Um, I feel so sick. <laughs> Oh, my snot's green, like Shrek. Um, sorry that I haven't been around for like the past few weeks. I've been sick and then I've been, I had my birthday in the weekend. That was so much fun. Um, went down to New Plymouth, had, um, had a bit of a great time, if you get what I mean. And um, yeah, it was awesome. And um, so I've just been busy. <coughs> and when I'm sick, I don't want to put makeup on because I don't want to um, get my makeup all like um, grubby with like germs, if you get what I mean. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm going to like hop into bed and like have a bit of a sleep um, because I feel like I'm going cross-eyed right now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed these mukbangs, let me know and I'll do another one with maybe someone else. I can guest star someone. Say hi to your mum for me, but stay away from me because I'm sick at the moment. Don't want you to get what I've got. But also, stay groovy and I'll talk to you all super duper soon. Bye! I'm gonna get out of bed now. Oh my god, I've got my bleed. I hope I don't bleed all over my sheets. Bye guys. Oh my god, it looks it was so good.